Hello children and welcome to basic science class. My name is Igwe Livinus Santiti Basic Tree. And our topic is measurement of mass. Measurement of mass and matrix unit of mass. Measurement of mass. Measurement of maths and matrix units of maths. Yes. Mass can be defined as the quantities of matter. Mass can be defined as the quantities or numbers of matter. The mass of object is shown by its weight. By its weight. The mass of object is shown by its uh, weight. So mass of object depends on the quantity. Mass of an object depends on the quantity of the object. Instrument for measuring mass. Instrument for measuring mass. Instrument. Instrument for measuring mass. We have numerous instruments for measuring mass. One is beam balance. Beam balance. Balance. See the structure of beam balance? It looks like this. Structure of beam balance. Beam balance. Okay, beam balance. Structure of beam balance. Yes. Beam, this is beam balance structure. You can see a mass subtended here. Another one here. This is beam balance. Balance. An instrument used in measuring mass of an object. Next one is bathroom scale. Next one is kitchen scale. Kitchen scale is another good device we use in getting the mass of an object. Next one is the lever. Arm balance, liver arm balance. We have spring balance. We have spring balance. All these instruments are used in measuring max of an object. Spring balance. Matrix units for measuring, measuring uh, or for mass measurement. Matrix units for mass measurement. Next one is matrix units for mass measurement. Matrix units for mass measurement. Before I, before I progress, the unit of mass is kilogram. The unit of mass is a kilogram. 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 Is the unit of mass. Now, in respect to measurement procedure, we are dealing with millimeters, centimeters, delimiters, or decimeters, meters, kilometers, grams. But in terms of mass, the basic thing there is grams, kilograms. The basic thing there is grams, kilograms. Here is the matrix system for measuring mass. One. Ten. 
milligrams. 10 milligrams. 10 milligrams mg. 10 milligrams is equal to 1 centigram. CM. 10 milligrams is equal 1 centigram. 10 milligrams will give you 1 centigram only. Next one, 10 centigrams, 10 centigrams is equal 1 decigram, decigram. Ten centigrams is equal one decigram, and ten decigrams, ten decigrams. This is the matrix of measuring mass. DG we give you only one gram. I do that. Mass is working with kilometers and grams, or kilograms or grams. Fourth one is 100 centigrams. We give you only one gram. And 1,000 milligrams give you only one gram. It's very simple. This is the measure. This is the matrix. You need to follow it sequentially. And 1,000 grams, grams, we give you only one kilogram. 1,000 grams, we give you only one kilogram. It's called matrix unit for measuring mass. This is how it is. A matrix unit for measuring mass. Start with uh, milligrams and end with kilogram here. 10 milligrams will give you only 1 centigram. 10 centigrams will give you 1 decigram. 10 decigrams will give you 1 gram. 100 centigrams will give you 1 gram. 1,000 milligrams will give you only 1 gram. And 1,000 grams will give you 1 kilogram. Remember that the unit for measuring mass is either you use grams or kilograms. But basically, what you should use is kilogram. With this now, I hope you know how to read the matrix for measuring mass. I'm happy you understand it. Yes, it's very, very simple. Looking at it, it's very simple. Ranging really from milligrams. So, as we go home, keep meditating on them. As we meet next time, same station, then of knowledge. Stay tuned and bye bye.